Google Spreadsheets has updated since the last time I showed you how to use Fluberoo to grade multiple choice tests on Google. So today we're going to look at the new version of Google Spreadsheets so that you can see where Fluberoo will be existing now. As you can see, we're using the same quiz as last time as our example. So we have three multiple choice questions and two short answer questions. Once your students take the quiz, it will show up in a spreadsheet just like this. If you had Fluberoo installed before, you would know that it shows on the menu right next to Help. However, they've moved it now, so it is listed under Add-on. When you click Add-on, you'll see Fluberoo right here, and just like you used to, you would click Grade Assignment. If you do not have Fluberoo installed yet, the first thing you need to do is get the add-on. And once you get the add-on, there's a search engine here, so you just type Fluberoo and you would see it come up. Now mine says manage because it's already installed, however yours would say install. Click it, accept the terms, it will install and you're ready to go. So to use the Fluberoo, you would click Fluberoo, great assignment, and what it's going to do first is it's going to try to identify your questions. So as you can see, it identified that name and homeroom tell us who the students are, and the other five are all questions, so it's making them worth one point. However, I would like my short answers to be worth two points, so I click the pull down menu and I will change it to two. If I had an answer that was something I needed to grade by myself because it's either a full sentence or just too much for an automated system, I would click skip grading and then I can go back later and do it myself. So I'm going to click continue and the next thing it's going to do is ask me for the answer key. First thing I do when I make a form on Google as a quiz is I create the answer key and instead of putting my name, I put answer key so that I can identify it. Select that tab, click continue, and it will grade your test. Once your test is done being graded, it will let you view your results. And what's really cool is besides just giving you the total points and the grade, it would also give you what the students got wrong. It gives you percentages. There is one thing on this example that I did on purpose just to show you how there is a flaw in the system and that is with the short answers. If the student spells the word wrong, it will mark the answer incorrect. So you might want to check that on short answers, look for spelling, or you might want to make it just multiple choice for that purpose. 